Hi, this tutorial is to teach you just a little bit about spreadsheets and what they're for. When you look at a spreadsheet, you'll notice there's a whole bunch of these little rectangles. And what this computer program was made to do was really to take the place of an old-fashioned banker's book or an accounting worksheet. And each one of these little squares is called a cell. And there are columns which are given a letter designation and there are rows. So for instance, if I choose this cell over here, this cell has a cell reference of C5, meaning it's in the C column, the fifth row, there's a cell. Um, now what you put in the cells is data and there's a whole bunch of different things you can do. You can just, you can type a word or you can type a number. For instance, if I type a five in there, when I hit the return or enter key, it'll move me down a cell. I can also move back up a cell by using the arrow keys, or I can hit shift return, and that should move me back up. If I hit tab, it moves me across, and shift tab moves me back. There we go. I'm going to delete that and move back up to A1. There we go. So we talked about cells. That's each little rectangle. There are rows going across and columns going down. Now you can change the width of a column if you want just by sliding the cursor on the side. Oops, here we go. Once you have that little arrow, you can change the width of a column. You can do the same for the height of a row. There we go. Now spreadsheets look the same across uh, most platforms. This is in Google Docs, which is a free, uh, free version you can use, and I open this through Google Drive. This is Microsoft Excel for the Mac. This is the 2011 version. As you can see, it's very similar to the Google Docs. All the rows have letters. I'm sorry, all the columns have letters, all the rows have numbers, and here's your cells. The difference here is the interface is a little more complicated, and since Excel does cost money, it does a lot more than Google Docs. Another spreadsheet you can use is OpenOffice. OpenOffice is free and open source. It's supported by Oracle, and it looks very similar to an older version of Excel, and it has pretty much the same, uh, it'll do pretty much the same stuff as Excel for the average person. All right, back to our Google Docs spreadsheet example. So when you click here, we talked about cell reference, and you're probably wondering, well, this is great, you can type in numbers, but what's it really good for? Well, what it's good for is you can have a spreadsheet do math for you. So I'm gonna type in some text here. Here we go. So my first number is going to be two. My second number is two. My operation is going to be to add them. And what I can do now in this cell is I know that 2 plus 2 is 4, and I could just type in 4. But what I could also do is type in a formula. And to type in a formula, you hit Enter, and then I'm going to add the two cells together. And the way you do this is to type in the cell reference. So I want to add B2 plus C2. And when I hit Enter, it will show me the answer. Now, if I click on this, up here in this box, it'll show me the formula in that cell, but what it's really showing is the sum of those two. It'll show me the answer. Let's say I want to change the operation to subtract. Now I need to go in here, and if you click twice on it, I'll just change it up here. This is easier. I just entered a, a minus sign. That's how subtraction works. If I want to multiply, I can then do a similar operation. And the multiplication symbol is Shift-8. It's a little asterisk on a computer. So it's multiplying that number. And if I want to divide, the way you divide is to use the backward slash. So B2 over C2, or think of it as a fraction. There we go. So that's how you write a formula. Now a function 
is a little different. A function is basically a formula that already exists. So there's, there's a couple functions that are already there and here's the, here's the function key. And there's a sum, average, count, max, min, there's a whole bunch of others. I'm just gonna use the sum function. And then what you wanna do is in here, you're going to add the cells. So you can click on this one, and you can click on that one, or you can click on one and drag it. Now what it's showing here is B2 colon C2, and that's called a range. It's gonna, it's gonna add together everything within that range. And the cool thing about that is let's say, actually let me just delete these. There we go. And let me add, oh, let me put a whole bunch of random numbers. Let's say we wanna add all these numbers up. What we can do here is enter our function. You can even type it in. I'm going to click on this one and drag. And it's going to sum, my range is going to be from cell A2 to A10. All I have to do is hit return and it'll add all those up. Now, the neat thing about this is let's say, oh, I forgot one number. I have to add 72 in there. I can then change this. to be a 11 and it'll add all those up and there's our uh, range and function. So those are some really basic things. On the next tutorial I'll show you how to make a grade sheet and how to do a little bit more with a spreadsheet. Thanks for watching.